Hello, NASDAQ followers, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell. We are moments away here from the closing bell with Purple Innovation. Joining me right now to talk a little bit more about the company and this firm type is Craig Phillips, who's CFO, as well as Joe Megabo. Thank you so much for joining us, CEO of Purple Innovation. Welcome to the NASDAQ. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We're thrilled to be here. So Purple Innovation, you have it in your title. It's an innovative company using technology to improve sleep quality. That's right. Yeah, we've been around. We're a four-year-old company as a brand. We're actually built on the shoulders of a 30-year innovation and licensing company where we've been inventing ways for people to have more healthful sleep, better lives, better quality of life. Uh, it began actually with medical beds and seat cushions for things like wheelchairs where we were really improving people's lives in some very uh, heartwarming and literal ways. We've only recently in the last few years been able to scale this out so that every customer can have access to the amazing technology we've been uh, inventing for decades. And this is such a growing and exciting space to be in to use technology to improve sleep quality. How do you use technology to do that? Yeah, and, and as you said, there's clear tailwinds right now around just health and wellness and the quality of sleep in general, which is uh, great for a product like ours. Really with us, you're, you're holding a little sample in your hand okay. right now. Uh, it's, a, it's an entirely new kind of bed surface. So where most beds are some form of, of foams or, or pillow top type surfaces, we've come up with something made of an elastic polymer. You'll see it's very stretchy yep, it's and stretchy. it's a giant grid. It's like a giant waffle. And uh, the nature of this grid actually has some magical properties. It's very even weight distribution. Mm -hmm. It allows you to actually get exactly the support you need where you need it with your natural shapes and curves and pressure points. And even cooler is with all the air channels that are just naturally built into the grid. It just dissipates heat. So you, you get in bed, you stay warm, you don't get hot, and it's an evenly even temperature surface. So I mean, just moments ago off camera, we had you, one of your latest pillows, which I mean, fell very, to, to, to speak to what you were just talking about, very airy, it bounces right back. That's right. Talk to us a little bit about your new product and how you're differentiating yourself from others. Yeah, so we're really excited about this pillow. We call it the Harmony Pillow. It just launched November 1st. Uh, we believe it's the best pillow that's ever been released, and uh, we're, we're standing by that claim. Um, it's uh, over a year in development, over 50 prototypes that we've released out and tested. It's probably the most tested product we've ever released. And yes, it's the same grid-like technology that allows just the right amount of pressure support for your head and allows you to just not get hot in your pillow, a great amount of buoyancy through uh, an innovative Talolay latex core, an organic hypoallergenic core that we put into the pillow. Overall, though, it's just a fantastic pillow. And just in time for the holidays, too, Just in right? time for the holidays. And so have both of you tried this product? We, actually, we've both been sleeping on it for about three months with prototypes. Incredible. Yeah. So do you notice a change in, in sleep uh, quality uh, then? It's fantastic. Craig and I travel a lot, and yeah. I'd say I that, miss this pillow more than I miss the bed. Oh, man. <laughs> that sounds like a really good pillow. It is. Now, talk to us a little bit more about a partnership that you have going, also right in time for the holidays. It's with Gravity, right? That's right. We, uh, you know, we're continuing to look for ways to have broader assortment and let our customers engage with the brand. And there's a lot of appetite to uh, to buy more from us. There's there's a great connection with our brand, and some of that's driven just from our video success. You know, with the 1.8 billion video views we've had of what we've put out there across uh, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. Um, weighted blankets are hot right now. One of the top manufacturers is a company called Gravity. We uh, we called them up and said let's do something, and they were thrilled to a partner. So we co-developed a purple gravity weighted blanket. It's a full queen size blanket. Many of them that are out there now are just really throw sized and they kind of thump fall off the bed. This wow. will stay on the bed. It's a 35 pound weighted blanket. It feels fantastic. One side's got some cooling material. The other side's a little warmer. So depending on what you like, you actually kind of get two blankets in one. Uh, we're really pleased with how it's turned out. That sounds super, super reliable, like a blanket that I want to have. Now, you said something interesting, which is uh, you, you mentioned the video views and the sheer recognition that Purple Innovation uh, has as a brand. And we've noticed that, too. I mean, you're very successful in the way that you market and brand. And we're in an era where we have we have so much messaging that comes at us. So how do you cut through all that messaging and really, you know, deliver? Yeah, it's 
And it, it's increasingly hard to have a brand actually resonate and break through. You know, fortunately, we were a very early adopter in really arbitraging video as a marketing channel. We've got tremendous audience reach right now. We put a lot of video content out, which means we're constantly testing and iterating and recognizing where it's working and how to, how to leverage those audiences because those are the people most interested in us and we can then spend in with a lot of confidence, which makes our marketing efficiencies better. Uh, but really, it's staying on point. It's staying at what our customers want to uh, hear about us. And we've got a great story. It is a differentiated product. It's a premium product. It's a better product. And we found a way to tell that story to our customers. Absolutely. And it's clearly, it's very clear to us that marketing is not the only thing that's working for a Purple Innovation since in Q3 you posted revenues up 66%. Right. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. On that. Could you talk to us a little bit about uh, what's made Purple so successful this year in this quarter? Yeah, we, I mean, we're our manufacturer at our core. And that's another fundamental difference of us and nearly all of the other new manufacturers, all, all the new, uh, pill excuse me, all the new bed companies. Uh, we, uh, we manufacture here domestically. We've got over 700,000 square feet of manufacturing and warehouse space that we leverage to build these beds ourselves. And growing as fast as we have, I mean, we're, we'll, they have, are guiding 400 to 425 million this year as a four-year-old company. Uh, is a challenge. Uh, just that kind of growth for any manufacturer is a challenge. And we've found lots of low-hanging fruit on just developing scale operational efficiencies and have been able to clean up our, our yield, our manufacturing processes, a lot on just everything from components and raw materials to labor cost per unit to uh, just how we actually are able to move product through the uh, manufacturing facility. So much of the gains, much of the margin improvement has just learning to be a scale operator. And a lot of that's just come from, we hired you know, some top shelf talent. We brought in a, a world-class chief operating officer, John Legg, and uh, Craig joined us last March as our chief operating, chief financial officer, um, and has really just allowed us to have much better operations and management around what we do. Fantastic, and Craig, anything to add here? No, it's it's been a great uh, a great year for us. Great quarter. Expect to continue that through the end of the year, and and you know expanding through wholesale as well. Uh, opening our own new stores. We opened a couple of uh, retail locations on the West Coast, and we'll continue to do that. So uh, things are just going the right way, going the way we want them to go. That's fantastic. And now we have you here to ring the closing bell. That's right. We so do. so talk to us about t uh, getting listed on the Nasdaq here and, and being being here yeah. at, at the crossroads of the world. Yeah, we, uh, so we've been on the NASDAQ since February of 18. Um, the way we went on, which was uh, through a SPAC, uh, we had some limited shares available and limited float. And uh, as we've been able to turn this company, put us into solid profitability and, and a healthy balance sheet, our, our founders who had a lot of the shares have felt it's time to actually get some shares out there, increase the float, and uh, on the strength of the performance. So yeah, just, uh, just last night, we uh, announced a uh, offering of 10 million on a secondary offering, 10 million shares, um, which was successfully uh, you know, put out there with a, a good strike price. And uh, yeah, we're, do you want to Very add anything soon. on this? No, but, uh, it originally was supposed to be at 8 million and, and uh, was so, so popular and, and so successful it ended up being 10 million shares. So absolutely uh, fantastic. It was a long four days, that, but. That's right. Oh but very goodness. successful. Can't, can't Stock think, is up today. Uh, can't think of a better yeah. day to have you here. That's Stock right. is it's up. Yeah. That's you right. have new pillows just That's in time right. for, for the holiday yeah. season. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you. And thank I'll, you for I'll see you us. just a few moments at the, at the closing bell. Great. We're ready. Right. Thank, thank you. you. NASDAQ followers, please stay tuned for the closing bell with Purple Innovation right here at the NASDAQ market site. Until then, we're signing off.